Well, hello, friends, neighbors. I'm John, your wish neighbor here. Welcome down to the nook. And uh, it's Sunday, so I'm shooting samples, sort of. These are bottles, but they were uh, just loaned to me from a good friend of the channel, Paul. Uh, and I've had a sip of this already, so I've got like slightly more than first thoughts, but not really a review. And I haven't had this brandy yet. So what I want to talk to you about is Bridgeland. This is a new distillery out of Calgary. I mean, they've been there now for a few years. Uh, but this is a special release, their artisan collection. This is wheat whiskey. It's released at cast strength. And then, as I said, I'll give you some thoughts on this brandy. I'm not really, uh, really don't know enough about brandy to be any kind of person who would give a good insight, but this wheat whiskey was finished in the brandy cast. So why don't you pour a little wheat whiskey if you have, or any whiskey finished in brandy cast, and come on back. Three, four. Well, that was a bit of a longer intro and, and a little bit disjointed. This is a Canadian whiskey. Uh, it's been released out of Calgary, Bridgeland Distillery. They're relatively new uh, and they release these uh, half size bottles. I've seen their Tabor Corn uh, BRBN. Uh, it is a bourbon style. Of course, it's Canadian, so it can't be a bourbon. Uh, and I think I've seen their single malt. I'm trying to think of what else I've seen on the shelf. I've seen a few of their uh, classic half size bottles. This one here is part of their um, artisan collection, and uh, and it is a wheat whiskey. Now it's 80% wheat and 20% malted barley. Uh, I forgot the farm. Maybe I'll put it down below. And then it's uh, Red Shed Malting who has uh, done the malted barley for them. Anyways, single cask. Uh, this one's released at 57%. And as I mentioned, it's aged in new oak, and then it's finished in um, a cask, a French oak cask that held their Moscato brandy. So that's why I've got these two up here. Let's go in, let's see what the nose and then the palate for their wheat whiskey at cast strength. Okay, so right up front, I actually get, you know, sweet, sweet toffee, uh, a little bit of, of um, caramel and, and a little bit of fruiting. Now I got a tip from Paul. I have read your review, Paul, and it's way more in depth than what I'm gonna share with you here. Uh, but he said, let it sit. Just pour it and walk away and come back about half an hour later. So I've done that here and I would agree. I even gave this glass to my wife earlier and she, you know, she gave, well, I can get some butter, almost like an unsweetened toffee for her, not getting any fruits, but the fruits come now. And I would say light fruit, light berry, a um, little bit of a very sweet cherry, uh, a little bit of sweet cherry and mixed in with that toffee and butter note that I was getting right away. I pour it and I get that. And actually similar to kind of a Canadian style whiskey, I get a fair amount of that when I just pour Canadian whiskey, but this adds layers, but uh, Paul, you're right. You gotta let it wait. Let's try it on the palate. Cheers. The palate of this whiskey is where it shines for me. As I said, it's really one of the second pour I've had because it's a loner bottle and I don't want to take more than my share. This is where you get that that nice, sweet caramel, light toffee, and wrapped in with a darker fruit note. This is where I can get a darker ripe cherry instead of just that sweet on the nose. Um, now I even get other fruits mixed in here, uh, which I'm assuming, of course, is coming from that brandy cask. There's actually a fair amount of oak in this as well. It's one of the first things that I noticed. Um, really almost a fresh oak. So there's this um, significant structure of oak a little bit of spicing from that. For me, that's, I've got cinnamon, a little bit of pepper, maybe a few other things going on in there. Um, a little bit of allspice maybe. Not, not a depth of spice palette, but it's got some spice backbone related to the oak. And then that darker fruit. Another sip, it just gets better. With um, a few more sips in, I can now get uh, what others have shared. I can get some of that chocolate, some dark, rich chocolates in with the with the now fully ripened mature cherry fruits uh, and with that high sweetness and toffees and candies going on. So this gets better, well, what whiskey doesn't, but this gets better as you sip a few more, the, the next layers come through. The oak is present all the way through and I'm surprised. I will say it drinks, it drinks pretty hot. 
Um, I'm happy to sip it at 57. I've got that nice interplay of almost like a, a chocolate cherry tart kind of thing because it's got that malted um, nuttiness as well, malted um, almost breadiness. And wheat is always soft for me, so it's it's quite nice in the palate. It's 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 very it'd be very easy to drink too much of this, but it still has heat. It's still got young alcohol heat. Do I enjoy this? Very much. It's a great bottle and, and I'm so thankful, Paul, for the gift. And I, I don't know if it was Daniel or someone at the distillery that brought it out to you, but I appreciate that it's made it here to the table. And I've had a couple of sips now of it, a dram before, and then today with you. This is good whiskey. Um, I haven't seen this exact one on the shelf, but I've seen other releases and clearly they know what they're doing. Still young, so all the flavors are good, but there is a bit of alcohol heat that just, I think, well, 57% is going to bring it anyways, but also it's got a little bit of that um, kind of young, fresh oak uh, and spice that comes with it. So it's more of a tasting, less of a review, but excellent whiskey for me. Oh, I should mention, I also watched the Whiskey Heathens. You guys are hilarious. Uh, and you mentioned this has got some Bamore flowered funk to it. Um, maybe. You guys got it both, no problem, all three actually, and, and, and good for you. Um, and I just shot some Bowmore and maybe there's a little bit of that heatherness in there. I could go there if I needed to, but I wouldn't have got it without seeing you guys. Thanks for your review and thanks for staying with me on this one. As I said in the opener, I'm gonna try to give you some tasting notes on this uh, Moscato brandy. Really, I, I've had brandy, of course, but it's not, it, it's not an area that I know a lot about. So. I'll just give you what I'm tasting on this. It's pretty cool that it's it's been aged for, I think it's said on here, 40 months in virgin French uh, limousine oak, and then finished in, I think it was a port wine cask. Maybe I'll put the details down below, but so it is enough time in virgin oak and then some time in, I believe, uh, export. And then the casking that held this is what finished this wheat whiskey. Let's try this brandy. Nose and taste. So, uh, <laughs> so sweet, so fruit forward, so uh, rich and uh, brown sugars, cooked sweet brown sugars in with lots of different fruits, strawberry, raspberry, light cherry, a similar cherry nose that's on here. I mean, I know it's Moscato grape, but I'm just trying to describe the different layers. Definitely super fruity if this was a whiskey. Cheers. Well, that continues, but there is some familiar oaking and wood structure to this. Interesting, but it is um, car caramelized, you know, cooked dark down brown sugared um, molasses and fruit compote so fruity so much fruit um but it's got some nice spicing in there too it doesn't seem to have the finish that i'm looking for the longer the longer um breadth it's only at 45 percent, so it's easier to drink than the 57 here but but that is nice quite nice uh again I, i'm really not uh i don't have a lot of brandies so I, I can't give a lot of comparisons coming back to this wheat whiskey it is young but well put together and has a really nice interplay of fresh oak, rich fruit that's coming off this brandy here. And then that soft, sweet, toffee nature from wheat. I think this is a pretty cool whiskey and I certainly would look to bring a bottle home. Thanks for joining me. Hope you guys had a fantastic Father's Day. I'm in between breakfast my kids made me and, and then supper I'll probably make uh, for the family, but we'll eat it together and maybe play some games. Hope you guys have had a great day. Take care.